Still can't win against your friends? Tired of getting smashed in online matches? You have seen an incredible amount of tutorials that are not what you're hoping for? No worries, here's what you need. Here we have 15 things that Naruto Storm 4 doesn't teach you when you start playing. Let's begin. Number 1. As we all know, the characters have a limited resistance when they are blocking enemy attacks. This is seen as the blue wave that the more it gets damaged, the more red it will get, until it reaches its limit and it breaks. That leaves us dizzy for a couple of seconds. Well, what happens here is the majority of normal attacks and jutsus in the game requires a lot of repetitions to get through the guard, but we have a little trick in order to do it easily. The moment you perform a chakra dash, throw a shard shuriken right after by pressing the triangle plus square, you'll see that the opponent's guard will get red instantly. You can take advantage and keep the pressure. It obviously depends on the type of shuriken of the character. Some are more effective than others. This is known as instant guard break. Number 2. The game never explains what stunt means. This is a term adapted by many players in the competitive scene when they refer to an animation that the characters perform whenever they get hit by certain type of attacks. It is identified by this unusual movement where the character gets unbalanced or after getting hit, the character bounces and gets vulnerable in the air for a brief moment. By learning how to cancel these combos in the middle of the animation, you can manage to deal more damage and even perform an infinite combo until the opponent gets his subs back, obviously. Number 3. Considering what we said in the last tip, the stun animations can be used in many different ways. This is achieved through practice and by pressing the buttons at the right moment. You can do it by jumping, switching characters, using an object, or simply by doing another chakra dash. But with the other options, you can save that extra chakra. Obviously, this stun animations allows you to pull off a jutsu or an ultimate. Number 4. There are just two characters that can absorb ninjutsu from others, both of them using their tilt. You can do it by moving the left analog smoothly and then pressing the attack button. Kakashi and Momoshiki that directly absorb any jutsu with his bare hand. Number 5. The assist pulled off by every single character that you choose as a support character is always going to be the Jutsu. Different from other games like Dragon Ball Fighters, where they have three different types of assists, here even though the Jutsu can be changed with different variations, the character will always do a Jutsu. You cannot change it into the grab, the tilt or any other attack. Number 6. This was already mentioned in the 10 tips to get better video, but we are going to get deeper on this topic. The game gives us the option to break the opponent's guard at any moment by using the up arrow object. Well, even though you can enlarge a combo right after doing this, as long as your opponent remains dizzy, all the damage you deal from that moment will be nerfed. You will deal less damage, but if you were attacking in a normal state, this would be different. This is active as long as these little stars are still active. Number 7. The Hollow Step Another term adapted by the players. This little trick is about pulling off a little jump while your opponent has a stun animation. In other words, while the opponent's character is unbalanced, you can perform a little jump forward in order to extend the animation and dealing more damage. Remember to do this with a very smooth movement of the analog. If you do it too hard or too soft, the jump will get out of range. It won't let you continue the combo. Number 8. No matter which character you are using, absolutely every single one of them are immune to shurikens when they are on awakening mode. That's why it's advisable not to use ranged characters against an awakening, because you will get almost completely helpless. Number 9. Apart from this awakening aspect, keep in mind that pulling off a chakra dash or a ninja move against a transformed opponent, three main things could happen. The rival can repel you without any extra action, the dash won't have any effect on him, or both chakra dashes will clash and it will leave him in a positive position to start an attack. In other words, you will always end up losing. Number 10. The only characters that doesn't have any object's palette, just as all the others, are Kaguya and Tayuya, two characters with unique abilities. Why unique? Well, these are the characters that are not ruled by the same mechanics that are followed by the other part of the roster. They are capable of doing different combos with the dimension change of Kaguya or the summoning jutsu of Tayuya. Number 11. There's only one single character in the whole roster with an insta-kill move. 
In other words, he is capable of killing any opponent just with one single attack. This is Danzo, which Awakening is incredibly OP. It has an ability where he activates a seal on his chest that catches everything that is around him. This is an ability directly took from his battle against Sasuke. He used this power to die alongside the enemy. But I think the developers took this reference pretty seriously. It's worth noting that Danzo dies along with his opponent if you don't use a substitution. Number 12. Apart from his insta-kill move, Danzo is also able to regenerate an extra substitution. He doesn't have 4 subs on this state, he has 5 in total, apart from his main combo dealing almost half bar of damage. Danzo is just broken. Number 13. A very simple trick to deal with giant awakenings. You wait for the opponent to come at you and you perform the chakra counter and right after that you do an ultimate. That will leave your opponent in a position in whether he has to sub or take the ultimate and you are also taking away his transformation. Number 14. But you have to be careful. The giant awakenings are still a serious problem. For whatever reason, whenever you're fighting against a giant opponent, a Susano, a tail beast, or anything like that, if he hits you and you use a sub, your character will automatically appear up in the air and you cannot defend yourself. It's probably a bug inside the game, but it's just too broken. Number 15. Talking about the counter, this defensive counter attack has also an offensive use that I really recommend if you are already an experienced player. When you perform a counter, the opponent gets blown away. Well, there's a way to prevent this from happening. Just right in the moment you do the counter, you can change character and pass over to the offensive mode almost immediately. You will need a lot of practice and learn the timing of this action, because I'm not gonna lie, it's a little tricky at the beginning. But if you manage to dominate it, you will have a brand new way of counterattacking in a very clever way. <laughs>